Timestamps are in the description below. If you decide to click on one, it will take you to the news article of your choice. Stephen Clark and friends here. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, no matter where you are. So let's see what's cooking today. Down to Padia, Thailand first. Is the Songkran Festival celebrations cancelled? Let's see. How do escaping Thai workers returning from South Korea disappear? Thailand's opposition Future Forward Party. What is their future? Hooters madness for Miss Hooters Thailand. Very interesting story. Patio Douse is disinfected from top to bottom for the coronavirus. But first up, Songkran in Patia. Is it cancelled or not? Is Songkran's water festival this year cancelled? Well, let's see. All the headlines are reading. Patia's Songkran celebrations have been cancelled as a precaution against the spread of the coronavirus, but the week-long Thai New Year water festival will be hard to stop. Tabloids and online bloggers splashed clickbait. Headlines across the internet shouting that Songkran is cancelled. But come April the 12th, Pattaya could be just as wet as usual. Tourists heading for Thailand, especially for the Songkran festival, probably won't be put off. Pattaya's mayor said City Hall is encouraging hotels and shopping malls to cancel their planned concerts and events and urging the public not to splash water, but in the same breath admitted that a blanket ban on Songkran water throwing is not enforceable. However, this year limitations on Songkran will be more severe due to the coronavirus scare. Those coming to Pattaya for the Songkran religious event and most foreign tourists still have events to attend at temples, but anyone looking for phone parties and concerts at big shopping malls or nearby hotels will be out of luck. Likewise, police may turn a keener eye to street vendors hawking water guns, but some shopping departments are still well stocked. Clearly exaggerated headlines about Songkran being cancelled in Padia are the last thing hotelers and hospitality business want to see. But anyone who lives or has visited Padia over the years will know that the Songkran water party is impossible to stop. Thailand, authorities are searching for about 80 Thai workers who arrived in groups of 200 from four flights from Sawinapum International Airport after returning from illegal working in South Korea. They managed to escape from a restricted area as they were about to be escorted to Satahip Naval Base for screening of the coronavirus. Deputy Public Health Minister did not give details of how the returnees had managed to escape, but he said he had instructed the Disease Control Department's director to find the names and addresses of the escapees from the list of all the returnees yesterday and to try to locate them so they can enter their mandatory 14-day quarantine period. He said that all the escapees will face tough legal action in accordance with the Disease Control Act. Airports of Thailand's director said today there were 104 passengers, including 88 Thais, on the flight from South Korea. 15 were found to have high fevers and were immediately sent for further testing to determine whether they are infected with the coronavirus. 66 others were 66 others were described as high risk. I'm just wondering how you lose 88 people from an airport. Bangkok, dozens of Thai lawmakers from prominent opposition parties that were dissolved last month said on Sunday they will join a new party together to keep their parliamentary seats. Thailand's Constitutional Court dissolved the high-profile Future Forward Party last month, banning its executive members and leaving the rest of its lawmakers to find a new party to join within 60 days or they would lose their status. 
the remaining 55 members of the parliaments of the disbanded party will be officially joining an existing party called the Move Forward Party. Together next week, said Peter Lungerunderat, who emerges as the group's new leader. Our mission is to continue the Future Forward Party's missions, Peter told reporters. Even though we have no home, our hearts remain the same. We remain on the side of the people and democracy, stand up against the jaunter, staying in power, and drive progressive agendas. Little is known about the Move Forward Party, which did not have a lawmaker in Parliament. The Election Commission said on Friday it was changing its name early last week, possibly to prepare to receive the former Future Forward lawmakers. The upstart of Future Forward Party, hugely popular amongst young people, came third in last year's messy election and initially captured 81 out of 500 Parliament seats. The party had been a thorn in the pro-military government's side since before the March 2009 general election that saw the Jaunter chief, who seized power in 2014, reinstated as a civil Prime Minister. Future Forward's hugely popular leader, Thanathorn, had his lawmaker status suspended a day before the opening of the Parliament, then officially disqualified in November for holding shares in a media company. Thailand's constitutional court dealt the final blow last month by dissolving the Future Forward party, ruling that it had broken election laws by taking a loan from its founder, Thanathorn. Thanathorn vowed to continue to oppose the government on the grounds alongside his former colleagues in Parliament. Hello there, if you are watching these videos, could you please help us out and push the subscribe button or click on the subscribe button if you like. It helps us out a hell of a lot. Be most appreciated. And now back to the video. Hooters Asia is hosting the most awaited Miss Hooters of Thailand beauty pageant of 2020 at Hooters Padia near Beach Road near the Royal Garden Plaza. Friday, March the 13th, 2020 from 8 p.m. onwards, featuring 12 gorgeous finalists who are Miss Hooters winners and runner-ups from Bangkok, Pattaya, Samui and Phuket. The exciting pageant is a whole lot of fun and entertainment. Believe me, I've been to Hooters, it's going to be fantastic. The winner of Miss Hooters Thailand will represent the kingdom at the 24th annual Hooters International Pageant to be held in Toho, Nevada from June the 16th to the 18th, 2020. Miss Hooters Thailand will be competing for the title of Miss Hooters International, along with winners from all around the world. Tickets will cost 350 Thai baht and includes a shang beer or a margarita. Also pick up a souvenir from Hooters Asia before you leave. Hooters is a wonderful place to see the beauty of Thailand. It's a bit of a look and don't touch, but uh, the very gorgeous look at women. Now advanced ticket purchases are available at this address. Be there or be square. Just a bit of window shopping, you know what I mean? <laughs> Patia doses disinfectant top to bottom for the coronavirus. City workers covered Padia in a disinfectant to prevent COVID-19 or the coronavirus from spreading out in the city and other Padia areas. The deputy mayor and a battery of public officials made a great show of using cold fogging machines to spray disinfectant along both sides of Walking Street, from South Road to the Barley High Pier. The officials claim their concoction of coconut oil and oxides wipes out 99% of the bacteria, viruses and fungus. Officials said the disinfectant should reassure foreign tourists who have abandoned Padia, the coronavirus and fungus. Nothing more horrible than getting fungus. But anyway, one end of Patty got a really good squirt. That was Soy 6, the entertainment street. Health department officials sprayed down Soy 6 at bars and cleaned the streets to make sure that punters feel safe from the disease. Yes, the Pattaya Public Health Department joined with Soy 6 bar owners to improve the hygiene and prevent the spread of the coronavirus. And I've got to mention it, there's been no cases of coronavirus in Pattaya, let alone Soy 6, but that got a really good squirt. This is a street where foreigners have close contact with the bar workers. And this was the right place for the city hall to sterilize and crusade. The workers also cleaned up the inside of the bars, disinfecting knobs, relic, knobs, oh okay, 
and other surfaces. The health department said it would continue spraying its concoction of coconut oil and oxides around the city to prevent the disease or at least offer reassurance to the tourists that Padia is safe to visit.